Hi guys, it's Danny from Inglorious Fishing, and we're catching huge turbot up at Godin on my birthday, baby. Stay tuned, I hope you enjoy the ride up. Woohoo! So we've arrived guys up to uh, Bank de Lagodine. Oh! Up to Bank de Lagodine. I thought that was a bite then. And hopefully, I'll just get the feathers down, see if we can get any mackerel or sand eels or something like that. Something that will jump on it. Just to try and get a bit of fresh bait. Now I've already put two rods down. They've got mackerel fillets on. At the, well, one's a mackerel flapper and one's a mackerel fillet. It's absolutely flat calm up here. We're approaching the overfalls at the moment, that's why there's a bit of a kerfuffle. The tide's making the boat spin. Hopefully we can get fish. Well guys, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, I think. Fish on! Oh yeah, fish on! This is a taupe. It's a taupe. This is big. What the hell is this? I don't know what this is. It's big. This is big guys, I can't even reel it in. This is big. I oh, had something big on. Oh, it just come off. Big tope, I bet you. Whatever it is, it just come off, guys. Big run, I guarantee you it was a tope. That was huge! Bet you it took the whole mackerel flapper. Bet you the hooks popped off, guys. That was a big fish. That was a big fish. Big, big, big fish. We ain't having none of that. Yeah, look, wait, hook's gone. So the hook snapped off. That was a big, big fish. 
bollocks. Anyway, let's go up for another drift. Hopefully, we'll get it again. So guys, the rig I'm using is an eight inch boom to an eight ounce weight to a B to a 200 pound brake and strain barrel swivel, six to eight foot trace down to a four o hook. And we've got a pelting flapper there, guys. So I'm gonna get that down. That's a prime turbo bait, that. Turbo absolutely love pelt. So uh, I'm gonna get this down and hopefully we can get a flatty. It's unfortunately that we lost whatever was on the end earlier. Whatever it was, it was big. So uh, hopefully we can get something again. Let's get it down. Well, there's fish on the feathers. I don't know if it's mackerel or sand eels. Definitely something. Sand eel, I reckon. And if so, we want them. It ain't. It's a gurnard. It's got a little top gurnard. Little top gurnard there. That ain't what we wanted, but we'll take it. Little top. We don't mind the top gurnards, guys. Nice little fish. Good pot bait. And probably chop that one back he's a bit small i was hoping that was a sand deal come on there must be a turbot around here oh guys fish on or something on this is on the pelting this feels a bit more like a turbot it definitely feels a bit more like a turbot got quite a bit of line out you watch it just be tangled or something. It doesn't feel that heavy now. Yeah, it's not heavy, heavy. Maybe it's nothing, not quite sure. Dogfish or something like that, no, my lock. Oh, I see collar. No. That's a turbot. And that's a nice turbot as well. You beauty, get in, guys. That's about a 10 pound turbot, that. Nine, 10 pound turbot. That's my turbot for the day. Have that. On the pelting, like I said, guys. Get this out. Check this out for a fish. Like I said, on the pelting, guys. That's a big fish, that. Check that out for a turbot. And the hook's just come out. Check that out, guys. That is an absolute beauty. What did I say? I'll come to this little bit where no one fishes. My mate's just gone off. And look at that. Check that out for a fish, guys. I told him, don't move. Don't move. Look at that. You beauty, one down. Let's go get some more, guys. Woohoo! Well, guys, this is the little gurnard that we had on the feathers earlier. Lovely representation of a gurnard. Beautiful blue on the dorsal fins. I don't know if we can get a shot of that. There we are. It's a lovely blue on the edge of its fins, like neon blue. So we're going to release this fish, guys. Far too small, so we're going to let it go. Fantastic looking fish, though. Right. Straight into the water he goes. And there he goes, he's turned round. He weren't turning round then, he's turned round now, guys, so that's fantastic. Let's go get some more turbot. Guys, I think I've got fish on. Well, what happened there? Yeah, fish on. Fish on, I think. Yeah, fish on. I think we got a fish on. Oh, I don't know now. Maybe not. I might have missed it. That looked like a definite bite though, guys. Yeah, I think I've missed it. No. That was a definite bite. I gave it line, everything. I thought we had it. Check the bait. That was on the pelt again, I think. I don't know, something's happened here. Either way, we didn't get it, guys. So, guys, we're all falling over. Fish on the feathers. 
don't know what. Need some bait though. Hopefully it's not gurnard. Sundeals. Two sundeals. That's exactly what we want. These big launches. These are prime turbot bait, guys. That's what you want. Flapper them. You'll get a big turbot with them. So guys, just thought I'd give you a glimpse of how I do my flappered sandals. Basically, all I'm doing is cutting the backbone out of it, guys. And then all you're left with is the head with the two fillets still attached to the head. Now, you stick that through the hook. You imagine that going along the bank, flailing like that. It's a perfect bait for turbot, guys. I think that's why they like it so much. So, uh, And it's an easy bait to grab. So we're going to get these on the hook and hopefully we can get a few more turbot like that one. What a beauty. Guys, fish on. Fish on. Don't know what this is, that took some drag. Feels like a turbot. Definitely feels like turbot weight, guys. Hopefully it is. Fantastic. Come on. I'll see what this is, guys. Get the net ready. That took the drag well, that. Doesn't feel too heavy, though. Certainly took the drag well, though. I'd say it's definitely a flat by the way it feels. I wouldn't say it's anything else. I don't know how big, though. Women weird. Could be here soon. Come on, baby. It's a turbot. He's trying to shake the hook. You're not shaking that. Aye, aye, we got him, guys. He nearly shook it. Check that out. Another fine slab, that. We're having a beautiful day today. Check that out for a turbot, guys. Check that out for another beast. Look at that for a hookup. Beautiful hookup. Check the hookup out, guys. Absolutely fantastic turbot. It slammed that rod over, baby. That's number two. That's got to be about a seven. Seven, eight pound turbot as well, guys. Check that out. Check the mouth on that. Look how big it is. Just swallow the sand eels, no problem. Fantastic fish. That's how they catch, guys. They stay on the bottom, all uh, stealth, open up their mouth and engulf whatever passes them. Fantastic, happy with that. Second turbot. Let's go get some more, baby. Turbo Werbos. Oh well, guys, fish on. I've got the feathers down. I think I might have a mackerel here and some sand eels. Come on, any sec. Oh no, we've got three sand eels. One's come off. Oh, three sand eels. We're happy with that. That's more turbot bait, guys. So we've had two fantastic turbot. Let's see if we can get one more of these fantastic fish. Well, guys, just having a bite on this rod here. I'm going to reel into it. See what it is. Fish on. Fish on, guys. Oh, it could be another turbot. I think it is. I think it's another. I know where the fish are. Yeah, this is another turbot. Another turbo, guys. Another turbo, come on. You can constant pressure on this, guys. Either that or we've caught into the other rod because that one's gone slack. Oh, we might have got my other rod. Don't know here, guys. Is 
there's still a turbo on it. Oh, it's tiny! Little turbo there, guys. Sorry about that. I was a bit astounded on how small it was. Check that out. Lovely little turbo that. It's absolutely tiny uh, compared to the other ones that we've had. It's nothing. So uh, we're going to get that back, guys, and uh, I'll probably do a little underwater release or something like that or get it going across the surface anyway. Fine little turbo. But not what we want, we want ones ten times bigger than that. Anyway, we'll get that back, guys. Check that out. So, guys, I'm not going to get any underwater footage. I'll just chuck it in and then uh, you'll see it. But that's a lovely little turbot, that. But that's far too small for what we want. So that's going to be released now, guys. So it'll go back, no problem. And down it goes. Check that out. Straight back down to the depths, guys. Hopefully, we get its grandma. So, guys, we've got about half an hour up here remaining. Um, a little bit of weed on my line there, but we've had two fantastic turbot. That's them in the top there, guys. Two beautiful turbot. I'll give you a better glimpse of them later. But all in all, it's been a fan. Well, we've had three turbot plus the little one. It's been a fantastic day's fishing. Couldn't ask more for than that on your birthday, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, two big turbos. Hopefully, we can get one more, guys. But if not, we're going to be start making our way home. Oh, guys, fish on. Probably a dogfish or something like that. Slack water, so. If it is a turbot, don't think it's very big. Though you never know, guys. You never know. Probably a dog, like I said. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it's a dogfish. Bought as much, guys. There we are. That's how you know we're not going to be getting turbot no more. When you're catching dogfish like that, you know the turbot ain't on the feed, guys. So I'm going to get him off the hook before he wrecks my line, and uh, he's coming home for pot bait. There he is, guys. He will be pot bait. Unless a spotted dogfish. Prime pot bait. You don't want him wrapping around you. See, or abrase your skin and it takes ages to heal so uh yeah fantastic little dogfish with we'll the dispatch of him get rid of him and he'll be pot bait so guys something on here some sort of fish on i was just bringing up the rod there seems to be a little bit of weight there so not quite sure probably a dogfish or something like that like i said the tide stopped slacking off now so just bring it up probably a dogfish or something like that guys as the tide's gone slack yeah, and it is. And it's another fine dogfish, guys. So on that note, we're going to pack the rod up and we're going to start making our way in. Hope you enjoy the ride in, guys. Woohoo, what a day.
So guys, that's another episode of Inglorious Fishing. We went out turbot fishing on my birthday and we went up to Godin and we successfully hit into these two slabs, guys. Now this one's about nine pound, that one's about eight, nine pounds. So both roughly the same size and we had a little one as well, plus the little gurnard and a couple of dogfish. So uh, yeah, fantastic specimens, these guys. You can't beat turbot fishing, it's my favorite fishing. So if you like the channel, like, subscribe. There's gonna be plenty more turbot fishing, brill fishing, mackerel fishing, Pollock fishing, bream fishing, lobster fishing, you name it, we do it, guys. And we'll see you on the next adventure. It's inglorious fishing. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. See you next time, guys.